Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? This is your girl Dazzle Me 77. I am back with another video. Um, welcome to all of my subscribers. To those of you that are landing on my channel and this is your first time here, welcome. Um, I do handbag videos, unboxings, what's in my bag, uh, a little bit of fitness, a little bit of planner stuff, but it's all stuff that us women love to do. Um, so this video was going to be a little different. I started this video, I was going to do an unboxing, but then I was like, uh, I don't know if I really want to do an unboxing because what I'm looking for really is advice. Um, I am currently on a no, quote unquote, no buy new bag band, band until November and this was actually the last bag that I purchased prior to that so the reason why I purchased this bag is because a couple of the bags that I'm looking for or I want to purchase next are a little pricey and I want to make sure that financially they're good decisions so this bag I was on YouTube and I am one of the bags that I'm looking about purchasing is the coach rogue and it, it can be a little pricey for me, I would say. It's I see they're running between five fifty and up. And um I looked at the second hand market, um, looked at various styles. But anyway, I got on YouTube and I saw this YouTuber, her name is Vintage Sack. Um, and she had done a video, it says two months ago on the Fossil Brook, and that's what this bag is. It's a fossil, Fossil Brook. She was saying that this bag mimics a coach robe. Not only she, but some other YouTubers as well. And so I went on the Fossil site two weekends ago, and this bag was on sale. And so I was like, oh, that is perfect. Let me try it. Well, they had the basic black. They had some other colors, but this color really stood out to me because it was different. And I just want to see how it worked out. So I wanted to do an unboxing, but like I said, I'm kind of looking at advice for this bag. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with her, but I will tell you some of her specs. And really what I'm looking for is advice on the charm, um, because I'm going to come back and tell you guys how this bag worked on, um, out for me. So essentially what I'm doing I'm looking to see if I'm going to purchase the Coach Rogue or the MCM. Um, it's two tote, different tote bags that I was looking at with them. Um, I also like the MCM Boston bag. Um, I was also looking at the Louis Vuitton Speedy. And those were the three that are on my top list. So it's either the Coach Rogue the MCM tote, and I haven't decided which tote, but one of the MCM totes, the MCM Boston bag, or either the Speedy. So I'm trying to give myself time in, in this period of time between now and November to kind of work with some bags that are like those to see if I would like them. Um, I have a Dooney that kind of mimics the Speedy. Um, tote bags are kind of tote bags. The Boston bag, I think, was kind of going to be in the ballpark of like the Coach Rowan, just not in quality, you guys, so nobody come for me, but just as in the zipper part because it does zip down further than the actual Speedy. And of course, this is the um, Coach Row. So for this bag right here, um, it's suede leather. And then polyurethane trim. Now, I will say that although it is a very beautiful bag, um, off top, um, the suede is really nice. The leather is really nice. But I can tell that I'm used to carrying Coach or Dooney because this is a totally different type of quality. It's a good bag. I want to see how it wears. But I can tell that the quality is definitely different. Um... So the details on this bag is that measurements in length, this is 9.63 in length. And then in width, it is 5.25 in width. 
And then for the height, it is 9.25. So what I'm going to do now is just so, show you some of the aspects of this bag. But really what I wanted to ask about are some charms. I'm not even going to lie. Um, because I'm going to carry this bag, I just didn't know what charms to pick. So when you look at this bag, um, of course it has the fossil tag on the outside, the little key. Then it has the fossil tag on the front. And you can see that suede is absolutely beautiful. Um, here you have the brass or antique gold looking hardware. Um, one thing that I love about this bag, um, one of the features of one of my favorite Dooney bags, um, the Barlow, the Brenna, they have the outside pockets. And so this bag has outside pockets, but there again, mimics that of the, the coach robe. So it's a deep pocket here and it has like, I don't know what this material is on the inside, um, but it's like a fabric lining. And as you can see, it has the buttons, the little magnetic buttons, and it has fossil written on the inside. So you have a pocket in the front. You have the pocket in the back. Um, one thing about this bag is you can carry it three ways. Again, very similar to that of the road. You can carry it with the handles. You can carry it with this decorative strap. And that is so beautiful. This is one of the things that drew me to this bag and the color was the strap. This is the front side and this is the opposite side. So it's exactly the same. I'm gonna take the strap off. Um, but this is a very nice shoulder strap. So you can carry it by the shoulder strap. And I'm going to move this and put it here. Or it comes with another strap that um, one thing I like about this strap is it doesn't have the like the belt loop where you adjust it. You just adjust it by sliding this shorter or longer. Okay. So you can use it as a crossbody or a regular um, shoulder bag on the carry for this one as well. I'm planning to carry it with the top handle, but I want to um, also keep this strap on so I can carry it as a shoulder bag, okay? So that's one thing that I wanna do. I wanna be able to carry this as a shoulder bag. So I'm just shortening it now. So I will probably keep that on and keep this to the back. The crazy thing about this, I think this bag would have been so perfect if it had feet. Y'all know I am crazy about feet on the bag, but it just has this smooth leather. And you can see it's a little pebbling in there. Um, and then it has the stitch lining, and then it has the suede again on the side. So this is how I'm planning to carry her. And I know this leather, I've read a lot on fossil bags. They said the leather kind of softens up as it gets older. So this is how I'm going to carry her. Um, her zipper, I did hear that some of Fossil's Sydney and another one of the bags, they have double zippers, which would have been nice on here. This bag only has this one zipper that goes all the way across the circumference of the bag. And then on the inside, I've cleaned everything out, but you have two big pockets on this side. And then on this side, you have another zipper pocket and it goes across the bag. And um, it has, this is different. It says that it has viral off, not intended to prevent disease. Um, disease. The interior of lining of this product has been treated with viral off an antimicrobial treatment. So this is fossil. And then it talks about the suede, the new book suede that's in the bag. This is the bag um, tag. It's the Brooks satchel in raspberry, and that is the price. So the week before last, this bag was on sale, and they have a pretty green one too. But I did not pay this much for the bag. I, In fact, it's on sale now, but today is August 26th. So whenever you look at this video, 
Pricing may be just different, but they have it on sale now for $2.53, but two weeks ago, I got it for $1.48. So just watch the site. So the thing is, um, I'm currently, and I just switched to it today, and I'm still a little antsy about it. I have on um, the Marc Jacobs tote, and so I want to carry those pink accessories over to this bag. So I'm still probably going to carry the Marc Jacobs. Sorry about that. But I want to make sure that um, I like this one too. You know how we do switching bags. So what I wanted to know is what color, because I'm going to keep the same, the same um, bags, wallet, everything that I have in my Marc Jacobs, I'm going to transfer it over to here because I have decided I want pink for the accessories for this bag. So this is one of the charms that I just ordered off of Amazon. And I think it's pretty. And look, it has the same brass as the bag. So should we use that charm? And she is pretty. I really like this. And actually, I think... When I was looking at it earlier, I clipped her up here so she would hang like midway of the bag. All right, so that's charm number one. And I this is a Chala charm. Um, and I did get it off of Amazon. So it does not um, have like a price tag or anything like that. But I think it was like $16. So that was the first one. This is the second charm that just came in today. And this is the Coach Butterfly Cluster. Um, and there again, I'm trying this bag out because I know this bag is not a coach bag, okay? So let's start with that. But I just wanted to kind of see what will look good with this. Ooh, that is so pretty. So I wanted to try this charm out. The one thing that kind of has me like, mm, is because this charm has mostly gold. Now I'm not a big stickler on mixing um, metals on bags, especially if it's like an antique gold and a gold like this. Um, I would prefer it all to be the same, but I don't think in this situation, it would definitely have to be the, the exact same metal. I think I could get away with the gold, with the gold um, background with this. So do we like that one? Ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So this is just currently on the Coach website. And this one is, like I said... The butterfly cluster so let's see what that looks like I'm still thinking the pink flower looks better but let's see so these are the butterflies I don't know that's pretty too so those are the butterflies and there again um, it is gold but I don't think it distracts completely from the bag okay so let's have number three which is why I got y'all here I need to see what what's gonna happen what y'all think about this so there again this one is a coach charm as well this is the multi wild flower And this is mostly gold as well. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's almost exact color. So I don't know with this bag, do you really want to go with the exact color? Or do you want to go with something brighter like that pink? So y'all tell me what y'all think. And then I'm going to come back and tell y'all how I liked these bags. Because I'm going to be alternating back and forth between a couple of them. Ooh, that's pretty too. So let's see. Do you like one, two, or three? Actually, three can hang right there because it's not as long as the other one. Let's see how we get it to hang where it's not gonna 
obscure the bag though. See, I like for my charms to lay lay. Like, I want them to lay on the bag. Let's try this way. So, which ones do you think look better? This one is almost more of a, a, a better match. I probably on this will add the little um, clip. There we go. I will add the clip so it can hang lower. That's cute too. So, do you like one, which is this big pink flower? And I say that because I'm putting pink, Victoria's Secret pink accessories with this bag. Because I don't want to change all my accessories on the inside of the bag. So it's either going to be... I was trying to put them side by side. Let's see. I'll put that one there. Or should we do this one? This one is super pretty. So tell me one, two, or three. So again, I thank you guys for watching this video. Please give me some comments. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Share this video with some people that you know love handbag videos. If you are not yet a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing. And I definitely appreciate the interaction and conversation. Um, I do try to get back and comment to everyone. But... That is the end of this video. So you guys tell me one, two, no, one, two, or three. And I'll have it posted in the description of the video. Which one do you think looks the best? All right, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope that your week is going well. Remember to always be good to others, but be even better to yourself. Because we cannot pour from an empty cup. Bye-bye.